Having left Dutch squad Rabo Live last winter to take up a leadership role with France's FDJ, Shara Gillo is currently enjoying arguably the best season of her career. Along with a handful of top 10 finishes, she animated the recent women's tour with her breakaway efforts on stages three and four. I guess it has been a sort of a breakthrough season. Being with the, the French team, I've really found my place and being able to mentor uh, the younger riders as well. It's, I love helping them and, and trying to show them what I've learned over the years. This is my sixth year as a professional cyclist and it's the first time ever that I've, I've had the opportunity to be a leader in, in the team and to have people help me because I've always just helped people and been a domestic and gotten results on my own accord, sort of, yeah, so to speak. And yeah, so it's, it's been a great year and I'm, I'm really happy with the start. I love Strada Bianchi with the, the dirt roads. It's a little bit like home in Australia if I take the shortcut um, out the back. Shara Gillo absolutely flying around these lanes. Great ride here by the 29-year-old Australian. She was second in the National TT Championships of Australia and fifth in the road race, so she's in very, very good form at the moment. And all she needs is for that front group just to start finessing a little bit and it could play into her hands. Here she goes. In fact, she's going to go straight past him. Straight past. Absolutely fantastic. She uses the width of the road to go clear. What a ride by Shara Gillow. And there's no reaction from the group behind. Fascinating racing. Two k's to go. It was pretty exciting because after the race, there was a lot of girls and a lot of um, people that, uh, yeah, that said, whoa, whoa, there's Shara Gillow. Whoa, who is this person? I think I even surprised myself. <laughs> no, it was a really cool race. and. I think it kicked the season off yeah, with a good start. <laughs> My dad always used to describe me as like a bulldog. <laughs> I would never let go. And yeah, when it gets harder and harder, it's, um, yeah, I like it. You're looking at the uh, new lone leader. This is uh, Shara Gillow. Ran about 30 kilometres into this stage. The leaders were swept up and he gave this rider an opportunity to go clear. Shara, it's, uh, it's amazing in the team uh, this year because I think she had a different uh, mission uh, last year with, uh, with Swaboli. She, uh, she is a bit uh, leader and protecting the team, so she take a maximum opportunity. She, be, she is uh, aggressive and she take a maximum pleasure. Yeah, I think it's uh, more important when you are you are wider. Because yeah, I'm Australian. It's the the culture is it's pretty easy going, and coming over to the French team, um, it's more um, more of a relaxed environment, and um, I think just to have take pleasure and have fun racing, that's what I really like. I'd lived in Nice, um, 2014 and on near the French Riviera and it was yeah really beautiful and amazing but being immersed into this the French team it's getting to know it like really what it is for like the French culture and the way that the people are it's it's nice and with FDJ coming on board as sponsors this season Gillow was not her new team's only major international signing for 2017 a bigger budget also helped them secure the services of Roxanne Knetemann and Japanese road race champion Eri Yonamine. Now it's, uh, I think, the new start for the team with a new sponsor like uh, LDG. But uh, yeah, we have really a big mo motivation for uh, become uh, the big team in the future and I hope the first, uh, the first team uh, for the HCIE. I was really surprised that there's only now one team that's that's really big in France because there's, I reckon there's a lot of talent in France, but it's just, yeah, to step up into the bigger teams, it's, um, yeah, I think this team and the sponsors, it's really important for the women cycling in France because the men have, yeah, they have quite a few pro teams and to make it grow in France, it's, I think, yeah, really, really important what I've noticed within this team for the women's, yeah, cycling development in France. I think they see it as a way of growing faster, is just to let some international riders in with the experience and to try and bring them up. And that's, that's the goal, is to make them better. And if we can show them a little bit how it's done in, in Australia or in Holland then, or Japan, then um, 
yeah, share experiences and I think that's one way that we can grow faster.